The battlefield was eerily quiet after the mysterious figure disappeared. Goku stood in the middle of the field, his body still thrumming with energy as he gazed at the spot where the dark warrior had once stood. The figure's final words echoed in his mind. The war is far from over. Goku took a deep breath, trying to shake off the uneasy feeling lingering in his chest. Whatever was coming, it wasn't just about Albion. This threat felt bigger, like something that transcended the usual power struggles between kingdoms. Goku, Louise's voice rang out, pulling him from his thoughts. He turned to see her running toward him, followed closely by Kersha and Siesta. Louise's face was a mixture of relief and worry, her eyes wide as she stopped in front of him. Are you okay? She asked, her voice breathless. Goku smiled, his usual carefree grin back in place. Yep, that guy was tough, but I took care of him. Louise let out a breath she hadn't realized she was holding, her shoulders sagging slightly in relief. Thank goodness, Kersha sauntered over, her eyes gleaming with admiration. Well Goku, you certainly know how to put on a show. I've never seen anything like that Super Saiyan God, was it? Goku nodded. Yeah, it's a different kind of energy than what I usually use. I had to switch things up since that guy was absorbing my power. Siesta, who had been watching from a distance, stepped forward her expression soft and full of concern. I'm so glad you're safe, Goku, I was so worried. Goku rubbed the back of his head, still not fully understanding the depth of their concern. Oh, thanks, but I'm okay. I've been in tougher spots before. Louise, still trying to calm the pounding of her heart, glanced at Kersha and Siesta, feeling the familiar knot of tension between them. They had all been worried about Goku, but now that the immediate danger had passed, that tension, the rivalry over Goku's affection, was creeping back in. Kersha was the first to break the silence. So, Goku, now that the fight's over, maybe we should celebrate. She leaned closer, her voice dropping to a sultry tone. I can think of a few ways to relax after a big battle. Louise bristled, her fists clenching at her sides. Kersha, this isn't the time for your you're flirting. Kersha grinned, clearly enjoying Louise's reaction. Well, come on, Louise. Goku's just fought a huge battle. Don't you think he deserves a little reward? Louise's face flushed bright red. That's not the point. Goku isn't. Before she could finish, Siesta stepped in, her voice calm but firm. Miss Kershakama, I think what Goku really needs right now is some rest. He's done enough for all of us. Kersha raised an eyebrow, her smirk never fading. Oh, and I suppose you're offering to take care of him? Siesta's cheeks turned pink, but she didn't back down. I just think Goku deserves to relax, without being dragged into anything, complicated. Louise who had been watching the exchange in stunned silence, suddenly felt a surge of frustration. This wasn't about who could take care of Goku, this was about something much deeper. Something she had been avoiding for too long. Goku, Louise said, her voice trembling slightly, you should come back to the academy with me. You need to rest. Goku blinked, looking between the three girls, clearly sensing the tension, but unsure how to respond. Wah, well, sure, that sounds good. Kersha and Siesta exchanged glances, both of them clearly unsatisfied, but unwilling to push the issue further in front of Goku. Later, back at the academy, the halls of Tristan Academy felt strangely calm after the chaos of the battle. Goku walked beside Louise, his hands behind his head as he admired the scenery. For Goku, the battle was already behind him, another challenge faced, another victory earned, but for Louise it was impossible to shake the lingering anxiety. What's wrong Louise? Goku asked, noticing the furrow in her brow. Louise shook her head, trying to hide her worry. It's nothing. I'm just thinking. About that guy from the battle? Goku asked, his tone curious. Louise nodded. He said something before he disappeared. He said the war was far from over. I can't stop thinking about it. What if this is just the beginning? Goku's expression softened, and he placed a hand on Louise's shoulder. Don't worry. No matter what comes next, I'll protect you. Louise's heart skipped a beat at his words, her face flushing slightly. She looked up at him, her eyes filled with a mixture of admiration and something more. Goku, I, I don't know what I'd do without you. Goku smiled, completely oblivious to the deeper meaning behind her words. You won't have to find out. I'm not going anywhere. For a moment, there was silence between them. A silence that felt charged with emotions neither of them fully understood. But before anything more could be said, the sound of footsteps interrupted them. Kersha and Siesta appeared, both of them wearing determined expressions. Goku, Kersha said, her voice playful, but serious, I think it's time we settle something. Louise groaned inwardly, not this again. Siesta nodded, her gaze unwavering, 
We can't keep pretending like nothing's happening. Goku, we've both made it clear how we feel about you. Goku blinked, looking genuinely confused. What, you have? Kersha sighed, shaking her head with a smile. Oh Goku, you really are dense when it comes to love, aren't you? Louise's face flushed bright red. W what are you two talking about? Kersha grinned, her eyes gleaming with mischief. It's simple Louise. Siesta and I both have feelings for Goku. We've made our proposals, and now we're just waiting for him to figure it out. Louise's heart pounded in her chest. She had known this was coming, but now that it was out in the open, she didn't know how to react. Her feelings for Goku, feelings she had been struggling with for so long, were suddenly right there in front of her. Impossible to ignore. I, I don't think this is the time for this. Louise stammered, trying to deflect the conversation, but Siesta stepped forward, her expression soft but resolute. Miss Louise, I know this is difficult for you, but we can't keep pretending like these feelings don't exist. We all care about Goku, but he deserves to know how we feel. Louise's heart raced. Could she really do it? Could she admit how she felt? Before she could answer, Kersha turned to Goku, her tone more serious than usual. Goku, I know you don't fully understand love, but we're not going to pressure you. We just want you to know that we care about you. A lot? Goku rubbed the back of his head, looking even more confused. Wah, thanks? I care about you guys too. Siesta smiled gently. We know. But this is about more than just being friends. It's about something deeper. Louise felt her chest tighten. This was it. This was the moment where she had to decide. Would she let Kersha and Siesta take the lead, or would she finally speak up? Taking a deep breath, Louise stepped forward, her voice trembling slightly. Goku I? Goku turned to her, his expression as kind and innocent as ever. Yeah, Louise? Louise swallowed hard, her heart pounding. Just say it. Just tell him. I, I care about you, Goku, more than I've ever cared about anyone. The words hung in the air between them. And for a moment, everything seemed to freeze. Kersha and Siesta both watched in stunned silence, their eyes wide as they realized what Louise had just said. Goku blinked, clearly taken aback. You, you do? Louise nodded, her face flushing with embarrassment. Yes. I've tried to hide it, but, I can't anymore. You mean more to me than just a familiar. You're, you're my friend, Anne. She trailed off, unsure how to finish the sentence. But the meaning was clear. Louise had finally confessed her feelings. Goku stood there, his expression one of genuine surprise. Wow Louise, I didn't know you felt that way. Louise bit her lip, trying to hold back the flood of emotions threatening to overwhelm her. I didn't mean to say it like this but, it's true. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Kersha and Siesta exchanged glances, both of them clearly shocked by Louise's sudden confession. But instead of reacting with jealousy or anger, they simply stood in silence, letting the weight of Louise's words sink in. For the first time, there was no teasing, no rivalry. Just three girls standing in front of the man they all cared about, trying to figure out what came next. Goku, ever the innocent, smiled warmly at Louise. Thanks Louise. I don't really get all this love stuff, but I know one thing. It'll always be here for you. Louise's heart swelled at his words, and for the first time in a long time, she felt a sense of peace. Goku might not fully understand her feelings, but she knew he cared about her. And for now, that was enough.